basically what we can show in terms of global changes and mega floods is we can show that pretty much every place on earth has at one time or another been subject to extreme pluvial events and that includes north africa it includes egypt that became apparent back in the 1980s with the shuttle radar that first was able to peer through the sand sheet there in the Sahara Desert. What they were able to see under the sand was a whole network of erosional features that had been carved by running water. It's become very apparent since the late 1980s. When you think of the Nile and you talk about the Nile Valley, you're looking at this nice, fairly level layer of alluvium that the, all the agriculture of Egypt is being undertaken on in the Nile Valley on these nice flood terraces and the whole history of Egypt and why it was able to emerge from the barbarian backdrop in that particular area was because of the fertility of the Nile Valley. What's happening here below on the planetary surface with the annual flooding of the Nile, that was a result of the monsoon rains over the southern highlands in the headwaters of both the Blue and the White Nile. So those rains would come in and then you'd have that flow north. Now you picture the Nile, it's flowing north that flows into the Mediterranean. So you got this nice verdant valley. You know, the river comes through, even during the flood, it's somewhat vigorous, but it's still do well domiciled river. The thing of it is, is that if you're standing there next to the actual river, you're standing on top of a column of alluvium that includes both material washed down from the highlands but also marine material that's been backwashed up from the Mediterranean. If you were to now scoop out the infill, the sedimentary infill, you'd be looking at a canyon 6,000, 7,000, in, in some places even 8,000 feet deep. It's a gigantic deep gash in the earth. But it has also served as a repository for the infill of all of this material that has been washed into it. The waters of the Mediterranean dried up. The whole Mediterranean disappeared, I think between five and seven million years ago. At some point, the Atlantic Ocean, which was barricaded, the dam, if you will, at the Straits of Gibraltar burst, and the waters of the Atlantic poured in and filled the Mediterranean Basin. 